Hi, I'm Nick Bellissimo, and I'm an Associate Professor of Nutritional Physiology and Director of the Nutrition Discovery Labs at Ryerson University. I'm Christy Brissett, and I'm a registered dietitian with a Master's in Nutritional Sciences. I counsel clients, and I write for some of the top magazines and newspapers in North America. Do you have questions about sugars and sweeteners? You're not alone. It can be really confusing out there with all of the conflicting media coverage as well as latest research constantly changing our minds about sugars. So what we did is we took to Google and took a look at your most burning questions about sugars. And we're going to do our best to answer them for you today. Okay, our next question, does sugar make you fat? So the field of body weight regulation is actually quite complex and involves many factors that will ultimately determine whether you gain weight. The research suggests that consuming too many calories and not just sugars, but starches, proteins, and fat, and not burning those calories off through physical activity can contribute to weight gain. Of course, it's not just about calories. We know that things like your genetics, your sleep patterns, and your social lifestyle may all play a role. If you want to lose weight, focus on getting fewer calories from the foods and beverages that you consume. It makes sense to try to satisfy your thirst with mostly water and to choose foods that are as nutritious as possible that contain a variety of carbohydrates, proteins, fiber, and healthy fats. You can still make room in a healthy diet for some of those what I call fun foods or higher calorie, less nutritious foods, but just have them in smaller amounts. Getting enough sleep and also increasing your physical activity level are important ways to keep your weight at a healthy level as well. And the sustainability of your diet is that other piece. So by including some of your favorite foods and occasional treats, it's gonna be a healthy eating pattern that you can stick to over the long term versus a diet where you tell yourself, I can never have my favorite foods <laughs> again. Never is a long time, mm -hmm. and who wants to live without gelato, am I right? <laughs> we hope we answered some of your top questions about sugars and made you think twice about some of the answers. And thanks again for joining us.